stepping up to manage country workshops is, uh, is something that Aboriginal land managers uh, really need. It's, uh, it's an important part of successful land management on the ground. The, the building of relationships that are happening at the workshop is a great outcome. Yeah, welcome to the land of the Red Earth people. Coming together like we are at all the departments is a, a greater collaborative approach to the way we can bring, bring our, our business to communities. And uh, by doing that together, I think we, um, we open the doors for a greater opportunity. It's about getting Aboriginal community involved, listening to the issues. It gives them an opportunity to feed back to us about what they want to do in their local community, how they want to protect culture and heritage, how they want a capacity build in their own community. It's about making sure that we understand their issues and if we can help, well, that's what the workshops do. It was just so much about land care, about the fires, about everything. We've heard a bit about the past, with, you know, the way our old people did it and a way we can do it now and just anybody could put their hand up to do something to, you know, preserve our land and do something for the future. Yeah, I think this is a great workshop. It's an opportunity for Indigenous landowners to get together and talk to themselves, talk amongst themselves, talk to each other, talk to uh, government agencies and find out what's available out there. It was a good thing to have them different organisations there, yeah. just to show us what's out there. Just encourages us people that they're not out there by themselves. There is help out there and, and the help is there for them as well as anyone else. And it's about building up their networks so that they, they realise they're not on their own, they're not isolated. I didn't realise that there was so much support out there. Yeah, I'm really glad that I came to this um, workshop today because I, I didn't realise there was that much support um, from local land service and, and other organisations. I suppose I was disarmed before I came, but now I'm armed. <laughs> Having that connection to those organisations and, uh, and that help and support. Uh, it's, it's important to hold workshops like this so, uh, so Indigenous landowners can make the most out of the country that they're working on. There's a, a range of ways that people come to the land. Um, Indigenous people you know, have a, an inherent connection to their country. Just being connected to those faces on the ground is so important for me. And um, you know, coming to the conference, I was thinking it's going to take years, but I'm convinced now that it'll probably take months, but we can start tomorrow. Getting a, uh, a, f a feel for what's out there and uh, how they can benefit from, um, from the services that look at uh, you know, natural resource management issues. And I think that's the most important thing is the sharing of land management, how they manage their land. When people get into a group like this and discuss things, you learn so much from them. Um, they learn from one another. Yeah, just meeting the different people and, and didn't realise, you know, talking to people yeah, you'd get a lot more out of it. This workshop is probably the best thing I've been to in a long time. It just empowered me into a position where, you know, everything that we need to know about the land, and we talk about connecting with the land, but I don't think we really understand if we got the land, what would we do with it? And coming to this conference for the past two days just informed me with so much I've never known about any of those things that we were taught over the last couple of days. And, but from here I have a plan, and it'll feed into the future and to generations we'll preserve the information that we've got and work with the partners that have, that have presented here. It's given me a clearer idea, like you know, the way forward for me in my business and, and you know, what path I need to take to, to get further ahead. We need to make these workshops culturally appropriate. Um, they need to match the community you're working with. And so there needs to be time to be able to have a yarn up, feed around the fire, um, and making sure the elders are involved because that's, that's paramount to be able to engage in the right way. We were able to source um, some young women to, to cater for us and, uh, you know, and they're, they're doing a fantastic job. It's nice, it's beautiful. We listened to the community and we used the community that we're here. We used their skills, their knowledge, their experience um, to serve up to us, and they enjoyed that opportunity. I'd recommend um, the workshops. Yeah, sometimes you, yeah, you've got to take a fair bit in, but if you're interested in it, it's, it's, it's perfect. I feel so empowered, and I'm so happy I came.
Thank you.